Oh, I was going to ask you, Gary, too, because obviously with the job report today coming out, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about artificial intelligence, and is that going to take over the jobs of the future? And I was really interested in, in your book I talking about not. where artificial intelligence ends and, you know, this human is, creativity yeah, begins. What's the, your take on, on how uh, it's going to impact jobs? As I said before yesterday, I was in Texas. It's a big, big conference of advisors, financial advisors, and this is a big, the big issue for them. So what will happen with our jobs? Now, look, uh, this is human history, the history of civilization, history of progress. Machines gradually taking over jobs, you know, farm animals, then various forms of manual labor. The difference now that machines are coming after people with college degrees, uh, political influence, and Twitter accounts. But uh, every, every, every profession will feel this pressure, otherwise uh, we'll, we'll stop making progress. Uh, but I don't think machines will, you know, will make us uh, um, obsolete, our complacency might. And it's very important that we realize that as long as we are moving forward, we have new frontiers, we will not be redundant. But it's very important that we, we, can, we can stop you know, looking for, for safety, because machines will be pushing us, to, to pushing us forward. I have a real quick question. How many times have you been beaten in chess by a computer? <laughs> Look, uh, you know, I actually, it's, it's in, 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 in few days there will be a uh, uh, um, 20th anniversary of my rematch with Deep Blue. I always want to remind people that I lost match in New York, but I won match in Philadelphia a year before. So, so it's and uh, no, 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 it's the, uh, and uh, it, it, it's interesting because uh, many people thought that was a milestone if if. Uh, Actually, uh, we're talking about founding of computer science like Alan Turing and Claude Shannon. If machine could beat the chess world champion, right. that will be that will be it. Our artificial intelligence. In fact, what's it, it turned that chess could be crunched by brute force uh, once hardware becomes big enough and, and algorithms uh, uh, become. Um, uh, smart enough, uh, and Deep Blue was not intelligent. If we, if we look at the intelligence as, 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 as we understand it, even with this I I incredible speed of 200 million positions per second. Uh, but uh, but uh, um, it's, you know, it's, we're, st we're still making this progress and, and, uh, in, 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 in the direction of, of creating this kind of human intelligence, but we realize that it's still a long way to go. And all these and okay. this, and all this, uh, uh, dooms doomsday yeah. scenarios, yeah. I don't think they're going, they, 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 they go to to uh, uh, become reality, and uh, there are many, many comments from experts saying, "Look, it's machines get smarter, we get smarter." So, yeah. so what is the biggest impact then of AI, real quick? I think it will force us to take more risk because we will have to to prove that we can create new industries, find new frontiers, and there's o there's only one way way forward. And I think AI will play a very important role of of turning our grandest dreams into reality. All right, we will leave it there. And and the book, Deep Thinking, where artificial intelligence ends and human creativity begins. Gary Kasparov, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Coming